and welcome to everybody on cloud fitness so in today's video of functions in spark we are going to talk about a very important function which is called from csv and side by side we are also going to see how schema of csv functions as well works in spark because both of these two functions can actually be used hand in hand so today we are going to see how both of these two functions actually work and we are actually going to implement them and see how they actually work now in case you have not watched my previous videos on spark functions i do recommend watching those videos as well so let's move on and see exactly what is this from csv function so when we talk about this from csv function what happens is sometime in the data right you might have a string format of a column right whenever you are getting you know uh, whenever you are working with the big data semi structured unstructured data basically you might get a textual format of a data or you might get a string format of that data right then from csv function actually helps you to parse the column which contains a csv string right it helps you to parse the column which is having that csv string and you can actually parse it using the specified schema so whatever schema you specify based on that schema you can actually parse that particular column and in case it is not parsable it will return null right so if you did not understand this because this was just a theory which i kind of gave you a background no worries on that because we are anyway going to see how it works right and similarly when you talk about schema of csv so in my you know this previous slide i already told you that to parse a column which has a csv string you need a schema right so you can manually give that schema or you can also use schema of csv function to give that particular schema so for that what do you need in the schema of csv function you need to pass in the string literal or you need to pass in your csv format data so that your schema of csv function can actually take in right it can actually take in that data and it can actually give you the uh, you know the whole schema of that particular csv now remember that from csv function right it actually returns you a struct type right and similar case is with the csv of schema the type which it returns is a struct type now let's move on to the portal and see exactly how it functions because that is what is actually going to give you a uh, proper insight insights on uh, you know this from csv function so for this from csv function i already told you that you know syntax looks something like this where you actually given you know you write your from csv and you pass in this the you know the column that you want to parse you know that csv string right and then you actually define the schema on uh, because to parse it you need a schema so you can hard code that schema or you can use from csv function in place of the schema and the options are few options which we are anyway going to see so don't worry on that options part it is an optional parameter anyway and we i will also show you how to use that optional parameter as well so i will move on over here right so you can actually see over here in command 4 i am trying to do what i am simply trying to you know uh, import you know spark.sql.functions import star spark.sql types import star uh, import uh, star and just simply trying to import the few modules and similarly in command 5 i have the data right in command 5 i basically have the data which is nothing but a csv string right it is a string formatted data right and then what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to create a data frame out of it now spark dot create data frame it is the same api which i have been talking about in my previous videos so i will you know not focus here much so basically spark dot create data frame api is actually used to create a data frame using the data right now i have hard coded data over here and i am passing data inside my spark dot create data frame right and then what i'm trying to do and i'm trying to just display my data frame so i i hope you understand this already because we if you are coming here and watching this so i already assume that you have watched my data breaks play series and you understand what it is right so this is how your data looks like right so this is how my data frame looks like now if i want to use from csv function this is how i can use it so this is my data frame right this is the value column of my data frame now i am going to say df dot select right and select and inside select i'm saying that use this from csv function use this from csv function inside that from csv function 
pass in the value which I want to you know pass actually what do I want to pass I want to pass this particular column right I want to pass my value column so I'm saying df dot value now I want I have to give the schema right how do I give the schema I would give the schema here manually right I'm saying a int b int c int so a int b int c int so basically I have three values over here right in my string so what what from csv will do from csv will pass my df dot value the data in df dot value and it will actually pass it based on the schema that i have given here and then it is going to alias it like this right how it is going to do an alias it is going to say alias is nothing but it is just trying to rename the column right and then if you display it Right, you will actually see that from CSV. I'm also going to display the schema. How do we display the schema of a data frame? DF dot schema, data frame and dot schema, right? We know it since you have watched my previous video. So again, I assume this that you know this and then simply displaying on the data frame 01 that we have created. You can actually see here from CSV and this is how your output looks like, right? So this is, this is what? This is nothing but your CSV is passed, right? The data or the CSV string is passed to a struct type. The output is always struct type and you can actually see how the data looks like. A equal to 1, B is 2, C is 3. So it has actually passed your data, right? Now, similarly, let's say i want to use from csv function right in that case sorry assume that uh, i want to use my uh, schema of csv function in that case what we need to do right so for that if you see here right uh, what I'm trying to do over here, I am saying df dot select. So same data frame. If you go over here, right, this is the data frame that I have, right? I have value column one to three, right? I am saying df dot select. Again, I'm using from CSV. Everything is same, right? From CSV, df dot value gets the df dot value from my data frame. And then here, instead of hard coding the schema, I'm just saying schema of CSV. And I'm just passing in the you know a parameter uh, sorry not a parameter basically a value to the schema of csv right now the cs schema of csv is a function which takes in right which takes in the string literal right now basically if you look at here schema of csv i'm passing in value now what is this value this value is nothing but data zero zero so if i go at the top where i have created the data so if you look here right this is the data that i have created right so i'm just passing in my data in that particular schema of csv i'm telling schema of csv function that hey this is my data right take this data and parse it with the schema right get the schema from this particular data so data zero zero i'm getting the index right using the indexing i'm just trying to fetch in the string literal from this data right so if you look here value is nothing but data zero zero right and then i'm printing the value of value so you can see one two three right and then this is what i am actually going to pass to my schema of csv it is actually asking me for the string literal i'm passing my string literal here and then i'm saying dot alias csv and the moment i run it you can actually see it gives the same output struct type output and see schema of csv actually takes in the schema from this particular value now remember that i have not hard coded any a b c over here right in the previous place i actually hard coded it a int b int c int right but that is not the case here right in this value because the value is just empty right it is just one two three nothing else so because of that you can actually see it has auto taken the uh, you know the values as uh, you know the key part right as underscore c0 underscore c1 underscore c2 this is the key one two three is the value so that is how your schema of csv works now schema of csv has something called as options as well right it has something called as options as well similarly you also have uh, options inside your from csv functions as well right now let me try to do one thing let me try to use you know this options that i showed you at the top in the from csv function so you can see in the from csv function you just pass in you know your uh, you know your string and then you give the schema you can give the schema using the from schema uh, from csv uh, you know the schema of csv function 
or you can pass in your hard coded schema and in the options you can give the options right so basically we are going to see how to use options over here right now let me go down here and i'll show you how we can use the uh, you know the options over here so if you look here again what i'm trying to do i'm trying to create my data so this is my data it has some leading space right then it has abc and it is again a string literal and i'm creating a data frame out of it and i'm just displaying my data frame right same thing so my value looks like this it has a leading space and then it has abc over here now in the options i am saying you know ignore leading white space colon true i am asking it that okay my data might have a leading white space right and you just need to ignore it right and then i'm saying it as true now i'm using the same from csv function that i used at the top and i'm saying df dot value i'm taking this value from the data frame and i'm hard coding my uh, schema which i'm saying as s string and then i'm passing in the options from here right this option is nothing but it is saying ignore leading white space true and then i'm just displaying this all so the moment i do this you can actually see this is how my csv output looks like it does not have any space right and it got converted into struct type so this is how you can actually use the options and there are multiple options so i cannot show you you know all the 100 options you need to go ahead and you know you need to look it so i'll leave the link in the description box so you can actually see uh, you know in the, on this page from csv function and it will give you the details of from csv function and and, you know it will also tell you you know the different options that you can give here so you can actually see that these are the different options right so it says option can be provided any of the following so these are all the different options comment header info schema so if you want to give headers you can give it info schema info schema so we use this ignore leading white space ignore training white space so you can go check out you can always go ahead and check out these options these are always available and uh, now pretty much that was the thing that i wanted to cover but still you know just to give a little bit more overview so if you want to use it in sql you can simply say select from schema right and this is your data right i'm directly passing in the data here as a string literal 1 comma 0 0.8 and then i'm giving schema over here right now schema again you can actually see you know how i'm passing in the schema over here right so schema also uh you know it is in a proper ddl format a int comma b double right it is a proper ddl format of schema that is how you need to provide it right now if i do it then again the output is a struct type where i have a equal to 1 b equal to uh, 0 0.8 right and similarly you know just wanted to show you here again so basically this is how you need to provide your schema it is a well uh, you know formatted well DDL format you know it is well very well formatted and all the columns are separated by a comma over here so you actually give in given co uh, column name data type and comma column name data type and comma this is how you actually need to pass it pass uh, you know your schema so remember that part always now similarly you know again i'm using this from csv in a sql now this is my data right that i'm trying to put in and then i'm trying to give here the column name and the data type column name will be time and the data type will be timestamp and again you can use options right now if you look here again what i'm trying to do is i am trying to use this map operation i'm trying to use this map map operation and i'm i'm trying to say that make it in timestamp format and take in this as an input which is nothing but ddmmyyy so this is how your output will actually look like so this is just a sql version of it but mostly we, we are actually going to do it in python or scala so that will be the most preferred languages to do it now i hope you understood this from csv but it will be still better if you try to implement it on your own right that is when you are actually going to learn it you are going to do a lot of hit and trials you are actually going to you know get some errors and you are going to resolve those errors so that is when you will actually learn it right and there are multiple options that i have already shown you so you can all the time go ahead and implement any of these options right so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much for being till here